I started asking myself, well, what can I change about it? And one of the first things was rearranging the room. It was not supposed to be a classroom. It didn't need to feel like that because it's not one. It's more of an open learning space. It's more of a workshop. Even though the name says Teen Tech Center, technology, it's not all about technology inside of this place. There are students that come in that are really interested in just art, really interested in painting, really interested in poetry and writing. Uh, it's not just limited to computers or programs or coding. It's here to create a difference in the way that STEM topics are viewed. They're really looked at as a very cold, stuffy type of science where you're a person inside of a lab coat and inside of a lab. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> so topic for the week, we're still on Photoshop. What makes the Teen Tech Center a cool and unique space is how it's linked to the Youth Education Department within Family Service Association. And it combines that youth development, life skills, self-confidence building, and positive peer network model with a space that provides access to technology, building those components into creating a learning community. Currently, when you look at San Antonio and the way companies are sharing a gap in skilled workers, this center provides not only the development of those skills, but also the creative problem solving that will allow our youth to be the innovators and the creators of tomorrow.